other than a very unfortunate two-year stint in Florida in the 90s, I have lived in Kentucky all of my life. I love it. The rolling green hills, the seemingly ubiquitous horses, the black fences stretching out into oblivion. Kentucky isn't really the South, even though a lot of its inhabitants like to pretend it is. Despite that, it does have a lot in common with the South. And in spite of me living in the kind of South all my life, I don't really like guns. But I do like Josh Nolan. So when he suggested leaving the confines of Lexington and driving out to Mount Sterling and shooting skeet with him, I said yes. We are in Stanton, Kentucky, is that right? Uh, Jeffersonville. Jeffersonville. Nearly Stanton, yeah. With uh, Josh Nolan, a uh, local musician. Um, I'm proud to call a friend. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I have said to myself and I think to other people before um, that your music, and I'm not blowing smoke up your ass, but your music is to Central and Eastern Kentucky in some ways what Bruce Springsteen's music is to New Jersey and Atlantic City, and that they both capture kind of the essence and the spirit of the place, and they both have kind of a, a blue-collar vibe to them. So, so saying all that, not expecting you to, to take the compliment of Bruce Springsteen, <laughs> describe your music to me. Oh, I mean, I, I can't deny that Springsteen was an influence, so there's, there isn't a certain amount of the blue-collar thing that I try to convey, you know, but... It, it's not so much like I'm, I'm a working man for the working man. It's just like a, an every man, more, more to speak. Uh, it's kind of what you grew up around. Yeah, I, I mean, I grew up, you know, I grew up on 90s country, which is, you know, probably not often said, but similar to the Springsteen vibe, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, that and bluegrass. And, and I, I grew up on people playing music for people. And so I try to drop the pretense, but I mean, so, be a so little there's pretentious. a little pretense. Yeah. It's all pretense. Pull. Oh. Hey, there we go. Get it? Yeah. Holy. <laughs> that was actually a really good. You, you got it more than I got it. So. so we've been we've been shooting skeet tonight. Did you grow up with guns? Did you grow up I hunting? Uh, you know, I didn't do a lot of hunting. I talked too much as a child. And then, so they wouldn't yeah, take you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because you scare the animals away. I scare the animals away, and I was afraid of dirt. I guess when I was. That age, but I mean, that dad took me hunting. You know, yeah. I went hunting, and I, uh, I did. You know, the Thanksgivings, part of part of the holiday get-togethers, so we'd go eat and then shoot off the back porch. You okay. know? So I, I grew up guns around guns more that way than I did in the hunting aspect. Gotcha. My family—they're all pretty avid hunters. And, pretty good yeah. shot. Yeah, well, I'm okay. Not as good as you. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah. I think we were all surprised by that. <laughs> Who are your guys? Oh, who, guys. who influences you? The big guys. Uh, Springsteen, obviously. Uh, Wolfsy Von, the big one. I grew up around. I actually grew up on Z1. I think a lot of people around here can't say that. You know, like yeah. <laughs> like somehow my dad came across Z1. So when I was a kid, I was seeing Excitable Boy and all. You know. Nice. But uh, Z1 is a big one. Uh, Dwight Oakham's a pretty big one. Um, there's a guy named Ike Riley that has recently become a pretty big influence on my songwriting. I'll never ever be able to write those types of songs, but it's given me a slightly more modern perspective on okay. songwriting. I feel like uh, my writing's a little dated. <laughs> you know, what I mean, I, I, I'm not classic. Writing, uh, yeah, classic. classic. Yeah, we'll go with classic. But I mean, I'm not writing about. I don't say things like text. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So, but, so you're gonna start writing about Snapchat? I think I'm gonna start writing about Snapchat and you know my cues. I don't know. In my, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, Zevon's a big guy. Uh, yeah. Springsteen's big. Um, so a lot of the a lot, a lot of the point of this vlog is kind of pushing local stuff that I love. Who do you like locally? Locally, oh, there's a lot. Uh, Rooster. Uh, sorry, Rooster, Derek Spencer. I call him Rooster. <laughs> He's of the Rooster's Crow. Uh, I mean, Robbie. He's. I've looked up to him since I've become part of the music scene. He's kind of a staple, I think, for Lexington. Yeah. Uh, Tyler Childers is a somewhat local guy. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, Brian Minks. He's doing a lot of. He's doing a lot of good work for around town. I think. I don't know, there's so many. There's a lot of great songwriters, great musicians. It's a good town yeah, for it. Yeah, it's a good town for, for all that. Yeah. Well, I man. hope other people start to realize that. Yeah. <laughs> Here's hoping. <laughs> this has been a really fun night, man. I well, appreciate well, you having me out. Yeah, of course. Hey, and, uh, thanks for coming. Letting me shoot your gun, yeah. playing some music. <laughs> so. Good. Yeah. I'll see you around. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully more often. So Josh Nolan's CD is called Fair City Lights, and he very generously gave me four copies to give away. So here's what you need to do to win one. First of all, share this video on Facebook, and then go to our YouTube page. The link will be down below, or up above. I can't remember how Facebook looks. I think it'll be up above. Go there and uh, subscribe to our channel. And if you do both those things, you will have a chance to win one of these CDs. You've already heard him sing in this episode, so you know uh, you're going to be getting a good CD.